But we only have 14 hours to save the Earth. It's an indie side-scrolling roguelike RPG developed by Yahtzee Crowshaw, it's heavily inspired by Lovecraftian horror, and tasks you with travelling across an alternate UK to stop an impending apocalypse. Hello my baby, hello my honey, hello my ragtime gal. The gameplay is varied, interesting and inventive, the tone creates a palpable sense of tension and urgency, the environments are unique and interesting, and the roguelike nature gives you a different experience every time you play. The graphics aren't exactly anything to call home about, the game can be extremely hard at times, the controls are often unwieldy, and it can be difficult to figure out what to do. I love me some Lovecraft, and if the consuming shadow does anything, it nails the tone and feeling of dread the genre is so well known for. I complain that the graphics aren't great and the game can be difficult to control, but really that just heightens the feeling of unease and otherworldliness that goes along with the Eldritch Apocalypse. Starting off by not even knowing which of the ancient evil ones is going to invade, you must travel across the corrupted UK, banishing evil and trying to uncover the identity of the ancient ones so you can only then attempt to discover how to defeat them. And all this on a strict time limit with surprises around at every corner from despicable terrors to side quests and even the player character attempting suicide suicide if their sanity gets too low. One thing's for sure, the consuming shadow is nothing if not uncompromising, and is not for the faint of heart, but given the sheer depth the game has to offer, it is definitely worth a go, and maybe, just maybe, if you bang your head against a wall long enough, you might just manage to save the world. But probably not. <laughs>